Hey guys, Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to Ow, oh my god, um, episodes 1 and 2 of Otari Managatari's. But before we get started, there's something that I wanted to talk about that's kind of really been on my mind ever since I finished Kabuki. And even though they, they fixed the time, time traveling, we're good, we're back, back to normal, we're back in the right timeline and everything, why do I still feel like? And I don't think I said this at the end of it, but I wanted to, and I kind of forgot it, like, while I, like, finished it and I was editing, I was like, damn, why didn't I say that? I feel like everything, because of the fact is they're now officially in the right timeline, they've saved everything, everything's back to normal, we're fine, it's still possibly going to affect things that might happen later on, I don't know, I mean... You know how when you essentially do one thing and then uh, 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 butterfly effect, that ish, like right there. So I mean, in the end, we're still gonna have to blame. I'm gonna argue for all of this. I don't know, but like, I have no clue, and I'm like kind of scared. I don't know what I'm gonna expect with this first episode plus the second episode when I watch it. But screw it, let's go ahead and watch it in three, two, one, go. Thirsty. Oh, I was not, you know, okay. Folk songs. Okay. Oh, you like purple. Like my mom. Oh. Oh, you need to. Yep. <laughs> Honestly, I can't believe I'm about to say this. She actually looks really good with her hair, like, and white. Is this the first time we've heard that snake talk? I should have got water. True. <laughs> yeah, look at her. Oh shit. For what you 
Ow! Oh my god. She look like Mother F and Medusa some type shit, girl. I hate Shimbo. Yeah, might as well kill her. Mm -hmm. So you have to kill her. Taylor Swift. So we're not going to, oh, well, you probably want to know how I got into this predicament or something. Because, I mean. Holy shit, not a call. Um, oh. What? <laughs> you know, this is a really nice birthday present, even though my birthday... Well, technically, by the time the Patreon see it, it'll actually be my birthday, okay, Friday. Everybody else will get to see this until Monday. So, unfortunately, yeah, that kind of sucks for you guys. But no! <laughs> what in the world <laughs> <laughs> this girl oh my god hold up i was like thinking like yeah they were gonna do a part where she was gonna look at the camera maybe and be like you're probably wondering how i got in this predicament because this part right here that whole thing that just showed seems like that's gonna be the ending but with this show from what i've learned from watching this Usually, sometimes the ending is the beginning, and they have to show that first, and then eventually it's like, here's everything else that transferred before, and da da da, and everything. And then I'm like, sometimes sitting here, I'm like, what? <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this, but honestly, really, having blood rain, that's a good birthday present. <laughs> Somebody's gonna think like what? <laughs> Somebody's really sure she wanted this for her birthday. She's like, no, 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 no. I didn't want it for her birthday, but it was a nice birthday gift. <laughs> okay, chick. Just a little bit. <laughs> okay, oh, Halloween! Nice! Ain't that fun? That girl again. Okay. Are you all right? How 
do you know her name? Yeah, because have you even met? Like, no? Yeah. I mean, my guess is the same thing with Agaragi. Like, you had to meet Agaragi, so I, I don't know. Nice to meet you. Okay. But, um, yeah. I don't know, but like the way you look, something about you is not trustworthy to me. Watch me end up getting like my ass under me. Like, no, you're wrong, DJ. <laughs> okay, kind of figured that. I mean, you know, Oceano, he is somewhere and he is just on his phone, probably literally calling everybody, but like, hey. I need you to go do something for me. Well, that's a smart way to get your shoes down. No, girl, no, that was no imagination. That was Snape. Taylor Swift. I honestly thought there was another snake on the door handle, but then look at it again now.
Thanks, Facebook. Long ass hallway for a big ass school. I mean, it's a pretty school, don't get me wrong. That's the type of school you get lost in, possibly. That was not your imagination. Because mm -mm. I haven't seen any markings on her yet. Well, once she talked to Oshino's knees. Can we talk about awkward? <laughs> oh. Ask him at time. Not the phone. Oh. 
Uh. Rain check. her Are you going to go inside her mouth and then, okay. Do you want her to kill someone? Yeah, but it takes a good, it's not so bad, it's gonna get worse. See, you say small one, and then it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and he's going to keep asking you to do things for you. I mean, for him. Girl, I don't even know what the hell to say about this. Like, but what? I I will say this, and I've been thinking about this for like a while ever since we've officially now seen the knees. She looks out of, out of the design. She looks the most normal, which means at the same time I don't really trust her. I mean, something about her when I look at her, something doesn't seem right to me. She is mysterious, just like her freaking uncle. I'm just saying, because they're all like, you know, anyone <laughs> who we met who has known Oshino is mysterious as hell. Like, can I trust you? Like, and, and this is the thing. I like, I only have a certain amount of fake characters in this series that I could dead ass trust. But at the same time, I'm like, I want to trust her because she seems interesting and I want to know more about her and I'm guessing you're still not going to know more. But it is weird how 
she already knew her name, even though they've never met until now. And she's like, oh, no, 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 it's because I know I got argue. I could argue with talking about you. And then, you know, with her, I'm going to sing all these freaking snakes now. And okay. what Harry Potter type is just this? <laughs> like, honestly, what the ass? <laughs> uh-huh. But so I feel like with the snake asking her to do something, as I said, it, it's going to be, he's going to ask her to do multiple things, right? Like if you guys have seen, um, and I hope some of you have seen The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, but if you haven't, go watch it, it's good. How when um, Satan was asking Sabrina to steal a pack of gum and no matter what, she didn't want to do it. And then eventually she had, she did it. And there were, essentially, she had to do more things. But no, because of the fact that Serena didn't want to do it, I think eventually she had to burn her school. She didn't want to do that, so eventually in the end, she had to seal the gun. And then eventually the Dark Lord is asking her to do this and do that, and da, 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 and they're going to get a lot more tricky with the request. And you're like, oh, hey, I need you to kill someone. So I feel like that's what the snake wants her to do. Maybe like, okay, babe, go steal some gum for me first. All right, you stole some gum. You're bad. Okay, now go kill somebody. Or go to burn your school down, or um, something. I I don't know. I mean, but still, like you you can't trust the snake. I mean, girl, <laughs> you got first the talking tiger. Now I got a snake. I wouldn't be surprised if bees were talking in this show. I mean, you're giving me animals that essentially I never would have thought had a voice and had their own conscious and talking and everything but now it's happening so i mean if his <laughs> i can argue sister zero with the damn phoenix <laughs> starts talking if a phoenix comes and starts talking we gonna have a problem we already have a problem with all these. <laughs> i can't oh my god i don't know I really, really don't know. But even with the fact that she was, like, talking about the fact that, you know, there's a point. I think it's, like, the ending where she's, like, her and I got, uh, I got, you are going to kill each other. And essentially that's going to come because that seems like that, as I said, that seems like the ending and we're leading up to that. I mean, girl, I, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Go ahead and pause the video and I will see you guys in one second for episode two. Okay. Episode two and three. Two, one, go. Because it's actually like just bad. Yeah. See, the snake is like kind of get you well, no, because it's the same thing for the freaking Adam and Eve story. You know, the snake is the devil. <laughs> yes, puppy. No, go, go play. Go. No, go. Okay. 
find something for you. Your corpse. Well, that's not bad at all. I mean, yeah. No. But where the heck could your corpse be? It ain't gonna be buried at her school or something, right? You, you know, that would be weird, but, um, his body should be a graveyard, like, honestly, but where? Our little cute girl is becoming evil. That's okay. That's her teenage phrase. <laughs> but I'm used up. <laughs> but it's true, though. Yeah, this seems like a perfectly normal day, right? Let's hope that Oshiko's niece does not pop up again. <laughs> Maybe Hanekawa will come and talk to her. Sandrata? Somebody? Yeah. So he'll be fine. You just automatically do it. Yeah, that's fine. Honestly, with the way his, like, the snake shadow looks. If you've seen the fight movie, mm, that gives me feels towards that. <laughs> I don't even want to talk about the freaking movies anymore because this is going to piss me off. Yeah, but deep, 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 deep down. You're bad. Mm -hmm. That she's weird. And not normal. Is that supposed to say red? It has to. I mean, mm -hmm. Yes, his body. I don't want to Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Yeah, but where in the world do you look first for a course? I mean, besides the shrine, but, like, how much do you want to bet that shrine is not going to give her clues? I mean, technically, she's already up there, so... Hmm. Yeah. See, but hot up, serpent. How are you so sure about that, man? I mean, because I'm guessing she has to find it because the fact is, you know, her hair is going to turn white and her eyes are going to turn red. So, I mean, maybe uh, I got no clue. Yeah, but you already lied to him. That's okay. Yes. Mm hmm. That or you want to protect him. But, you know, I already have a weird feeling that he's going to find out anyway. Yes. Yeah.
Yeah, but he has a right to ask if you want to know. Heck, I want to know. Yeah. But then why would a teacher have such stupid relationship? Honestly, teachers shouldn't be asking to students that are like. You say that, but. Yeah, that or I think he didn't want to talk to you anymore. You didn't have any other questions. <laughs> awesome job sneaking out of the house. That's a good hint. Already? Do you have a shovel or something? Okay. So basically, like your body is in multiple places, maybe? Um, but she's probably got to go to school. No, he was looking for you. And I'm returning your ass home, I swear to God. I'm like, I was just looking for a body. <laughs> but she can't go ahead and just straight up tell him that. Mm. Mm, she could have possibly died. Looking for her body.
Yeah. But the thing is, you can't touch me about it. Okay, how much you want to bet everything else that's going to happen with these last two freaking episodes? She ain't going to say ish to him. And where are you going to sleep? What do you want to sleep on the floor? I knew that was coming. <laughs> Serve up. Yeah. Don't be me.
I mean, but essentially you're saying the truth to her. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> That's all I need to say about this. Now, okay, it is weird. That, you know, their deal that the surfer and her are making where she has, she has to go look for his body out in the night. And I'm thinking, okay, it ain't going to be that freaking easy how she's immediately going to find his uh, freaking body in, like, one episode, of course. So, I, I kind of figured that was, like, a test run, of course. He, he just vibrated, just a vibrate, like, oh, okay, oh, my God, we found his body. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. So, maybe. <laughs> This baby, of course, she's gonna have to go out again and finally look for it, and three, four, she might find it, hopefully. But I don't know. Like, God, what if? No, I don't think I'm gonna. He's gonna have to look for her again because I feel like he's gonna be like, no, 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 stay at our house for a couple more days, and then I'll keep an eye on you or something like that. Or she'll just go home. You know, her parents are gonna be home, but not really because we don't see them. And then eventually, the following night, she's going to go out and look for it again. And eventually, she might find it. I don't know. But you got to feel sorry for it. Yeah, you got to feel sorry for every girl in this dang series. I don't know. I'm stumped. <laughs> so stumped right now. Like, ooh. And the fact is, I got to wait until Friday to watch the next two episodes. My birthday. I don't even know if I'll have time to watch it, but I'm going to try. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction to the truth episodes 1 and 2 of a 20 when I got today. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for the Patreon. And next Monday for everybody else for, like, literally the last two episodes of this show. Hopefully everything gets solved in, in these two episodes. I don't know. I mean... I say that every time for a freaking thing, and in a way, it does get solved, but at the same time, I'm still left with unanswered questions, and I'm like, oh, is it ever going to get answered in something else? Probably, maybe, I don't know. Usually it doesn't, usually it doesn't. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!